Hello travelers, Boardman21 here, and today I wanted to discuss the ward meta. And in 1.0, I think it's going to be taken to new heights, especially with more people playing and more interactions being found. But low life ward builds have been around for quite a while. We've had an Insanguius for a very long time. We had the Shroud of Obscurity, which most people don't use that. Insanguius is just better in a lot of ways. Last Steps of the Living. And then most recently, we had the Exiled Gloves dropping their experimental fix that has Insanguius and Last Steps of the Living on it that allows you to have three items converting a percentage of your missing health into ward, which can give you a ton of ward. And this new meta that's going to come out is based around one of the most powerful items that are in the game right now. It's probably not the most powerful item, there's lots of really good items, but this is definitely top 5 on my list. And essentially the Cleaver Solution, which is not a super rare item and you can start wearing it at level 27, basically makes your intelligence match whatever your strength is. So for strength builds this is huge and the reason for that is because you can get a ton of int for free which gives you lots of ward retention which means if you go low life you're going to be able to stack lots and lots of ward now this is an online character i don't have all the best gear for this but i'm going to showcase basically what this interaction is and with just some stuff i threw together just how tanky we already are so this also comes with strength on it a bunch of melee physical damage and again this is going to be a great setup for any build that's already building around strength so whatever build you are most likely sentinel or primalist but whichever build you are if you're building around strength this is going to be really good for you and then you do more damage against bleeding enemies and then plus one to all skills now the big thing here is that conversion of strength to intelligence. Now on strength builds, you're already going to be stacking a ton of strength. You can easily get a hundred points on a build by the end game, especially with some exalted gear. So like on this, my Inzanguis has intelligence on it because I'm using it for other stuff obviously, but if you had 15 int here, we'd have over a hundred points of strength. So we'd actually have 101 points of strength on this build. And again, I'm missing health in a lot of spots, so like we don't have exalted strength. Um, here I have armor, not health, so we could even have more health. My werebear currently sits at 3,500. I've seen people have well over 4,000, even 5,000 on some of their werebears. So you can get much higher health, which will in turn turn to much more ward. But essentially, you just stack strength on everything. Make sure you get it everywhere that you can, get as much health. And then what's going to happen is within Zanglius, which is taking a current percentage of your missing health and turning it into ward every second, along with last steps of the living and your experimental effects, with all the ward retention that you get, which we only have ward intention through intelligence, and again, this would be higher if we had, say, strength on the chest. You can get to 400, 500% decently easy. And essentially what that allows you to do is just sit here, not in combat. We are generating, we have over 10,000 ward. The more health you have, the more ward you'll have. Again, this is only a tier 4 fix. You can get it up to tier 7 on the gloves, so we could get even higher. I'm missing health in a lot of spots. I don't have good hybrid health idols, so like... You can easily get to about 5,000 health if you really min-max this build, which will put you much closer to 15 to 20,000 ward, especially if you have more int and more ward retention. Just astronomical. And so, just having that amount of ward that's auto-generating, you don't have to be in the fight for it, along with, say, the werebear here who gets a ton of tankiness through a lot of skills, like Berserker that makes him take less damage when he's at low health, um, so we take 25% less damage because we're always at low health. Uh, don't be confused, Endurance does not work the same way. So like, Endurance does not work for Ward. And so you don't get your Endurance Threshold just because we're below that, because our health actually isn't taking that damage. Um, but with like Aspect of the Boar and everything else, I got it on a spreadsheet here. Just with our current setup here, we have over a hundred thousand EHP, which is absolutely crazy. And again, if you were to if you were to stack closer to five thousand health, you'd have closer to roughly twenty thousand ward with that amount of strength. You can easily get this up, and of course, if we were to stack more strength, we'd have more armor. And you can see you can get close to two hundred thousand EHP pretty easily on a werebear. I say easily; it will take some farming to get there. But it's, it's just absolutely nuts. The other interaction with this that makes it so powerful is if you have the Bastion of Honor. Since we have 101 strength, or at least we would if this was strength, not int, we have a 100% chance to block 
any hit within four meters, which is about the circle. I'd say it's it's in between this circle and this circle around us, but pretty much anything in melee range, you're going to be guaranteed to block that hit, which is absolutely nuts. So between those interactions, again, on strength builds, and remember strength, every point of strength gives you 4% increased armor, you just become a very, very tanky bully. I'm just showing this off on the werebear, but you can do this with any strength building build. But that's going to be it. I think that this is going to turn into a huge low life ward meta in 1.0, but we'll have to see what happens. Uh, perhaps some changes will come into the game. Um, it may be overpowered, so I could see something changing, but we'll have to wait and see. As always, stay safe, guys, and I'll see you next time.